Are you guys going to be the athletes in this competition today? Yeah. Yeah? Any strategy going in? Uh, well, I don't really know the workout, so we're going to kind of make it up as we go. Um, just try to have fun and work hard. How did you prepare for it? Like, did you do anything specific before? No, just kind of tip train and everything and be ready for anything. Uh, probably like uh, Amanda, like snatches and muscle ups kind of thing. So like a skill one. And one that you hate the most? Uh, Angie, with 100 pull ups and 100 push ups. And I don't like 100 reps of anything in a row. Close your hands? Just everything just dies. So I like, I'm good at those things, but then I die in the end if, I, if it's all back to back like that. Rich Froning or Matt Frazier? Uh, it's, well, who's better? Which do you prefer? Yeah, Fraser's better. But I like Froning when Fraser wasn't around, and but now Fraser's clearly better. What's the one quality that you'll admire the most about Fraser? Uh, it's probably just the work ethic that he just kind of. He's not flashy, he doesn't show you everything he does at home and he doesn't kind of, it's not social media guy, he just puts in the work and doesn't talk about it and shows up ready. So, I see you're getting ready. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Any strategy going in today? Just to survive, just to make it through, that's it. Okay. Have you done this last year? No. It's the first time? Yes. So, what's your most favorite CrossFit workout or movement? Movement? Uh, I'd go with the snatch. And if you had to do it for the rest of your life, would you? <laughs> would Not you every still day. A snatch? Not every day. Yeah, but probably. Or I don't even mind running that much. How about least favorite? Least favorite? Uh, I'm gonna go with lunges. Any favorite post-workout meals? Uh, oh, there's so many. Pasta, steak, sa Caesar salad, uh, wings. Beer. Beer, yeah. Could you go for some of those. Any favorite beers? Uh, I like them all. No complaints. I like to mix it up. Beer Depend or wine? Beer. Don't like wine. Beer or liquor? Beer. Beer usually wins in most situations. Yeah. Yes. So how long have you been going to this gym for? To which, sorry? How long have you been going to this gym for? Uh, to, I've been, I go to CrossFit LTD in Ajax. Yeah. So I've been there for two years now, just over two years. Oh, okay. Cool. Yeah. All right. Well, good luck today. Thank you very much. How's it going? How are you feeling? Good. Yeah, I'm a little nervous. Good nerves. Have you done a work like an event like this before? Yep. Uh, a few. I just had our second son, though. I am not nine months ago, so I've done two competitions since then, so I'm feeling pretty good. Wow, good for you. Thanks. Wow. Yeah. So what are you looking forward to the most today? I'm hoping there's a run. Uh, Even in the rain? Yeah, I don't care. Okay. I'm hoping for a run. Um, if not, then I'm hoping for something very fast, light. I mean, I don't mind doing heavy stuff too, but usually the difference maker is when I do something light, and usually I do better. So you sound like you're better at like, more endurance. Yeah, for sure. Handstand push-ups. Really? Yeah. And most hated? Crossfit movie? Muscle up. Muscle up. Okay. And you? Favorite? Favorite. Muscle ups. That you would do for the rest of your life? Yeah. Okay, and the most hated? Handstand push up. <laughs> wow, okay, okay. Cats or dogs? Cats. Lions. <laughs> Any strategy going in? No. No? No. So you're just going to win it? Yeah. I'm going to stretch. I'm going to stretch. Yeah. Did you prepare for this event at all? No. No. I prepared by drinking and eating. But um, it's about having fun, right? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Have you done it last year? I didn't do it last year. I judge. Oh, yeah. yeah. So do you prefer judging or being the athlete? <laughs> I like being the athlete, but um, yeah, yeah, both are fun. Right? Yeah. 
any tips for athletes who are thinking about doing this to get like an extra? Yeah, I think just um, just get out there and do it. Yeah, just have fun. You don't really know. You push yourself more, I think, and you just have a bet. So. so, have you done this before? I did the first year they had it. Two years ago, I think. Yeah. Any tips for athletes? Considering? Yeah, it's a long day. I think there's like six workouts, so just make sure you have. You try to eat something small in between each meal, like an apple or something, and try to stay hydrated. It's basically, basically, it, the workouts are pretty close to each other, and then there's a lot of them. So. Yeah. Any strategy going into these workouts? I don't know. First one, I just think. Handstand push-ups I have to think about, but that's pretty much it. Have and you been training fast. at all for this event? Prepping uh, for it? I did, I did the first event two days ago. Well, or just, I did a little bit of it just to get ready for it, get a feel for it. Okay. So, pasta or lasagna? Pasta or lasagna? Lasagna. And how do you like your steak? Medium, medium rare. Medium rare. Any favorite post-workout meals? I don't know. Right after workout, I like having a shake, like a protein shake with carbs. What would you put in shake. it? Uh, I just have I have vanilla protein powder and then some appleberry carb powder. Yeah. Nice. Nice. So if you had to choose one CrossFit movement that you're going to do for the rest of your life, what would it be? Probably want to lift, so I'd say snatch. Yeah. And your most hated that you would hope never ever to do again, or at least the one that you like least. Yeah. Probably a uh, like a long row. I don't like doing those. Well, like rowing for a long time. Have you tried the three hour or four hour marathon row? No, I haven't done that. The longest I've done is like probably 10k, but and even that I don't love. It. Just so you know, guys in the red shirts, just put up your hands. Those guys are your head judges. Um, again, they're, they're volunteers as well, so so we know uh, about the whole volunteer thing. We, we love volunteers. So. Um, yeah, we already know the first event, so we're just going to briefly go over some movement standards, and then we're going to um, heat one. Um, we're going we're gonna to go in 10 minutes. Today, though. What was the hardest part? Uh, well, 
go to the bar. I did the push-ups. And they got tougher than I expected, but yeah, toes of our were tough all the way through. So are you proud of how you did, or is it yeah. something you'll be working on in a few Oh, I'll be working on it, but this is my, this is my first year here, so hey, can't, can't complain about that, right? Nice. Oh. Nice. So what's the plan for the next workout? Like, any strategy going into the next uh, one? Do we know what the next workout is? I don't know, you guys just rest up and be ready for anything, I guess. Okay. Uh, having the first big cheap meal in a while. Go, go, go to the Mongolian Grill or something, get some meat. Yeah. Stay home. Starting in about a minute. Yeah, it was amazing, it was amazing. First time, really got to stay focused on, you know, just breaking it up, doing it what you think you, can, what you, think you could do. Take some breaks, breathe, just breathe. And you got it. That was good. Uh, difficult. There's highly skilled movements in there, so it's just got to get through it and move on to the next one. Uh, I'd say handstand push-ups. It's not my strength, but I think everyone will tell you the same thing. Handstand push-ups added to the workout made it more difficult. No. <laughs> no. No tips. Um, keep moving. Pretty much. If uh, one of them, one of the movements is your weaknesses, break it up. That's probably about it. Did you take a nervous poop before it? No, I'll poop at home. <laughs> I don't get nervous. <laughs> so 89 reps. Okay. Um, do you have any comments to the remarks of uh, your similarity? So we've so got Heat Five. <laughs> Jessica. What did he say? Alex. <laughs> I don't follow Jose. But Izzy. He's done. Michelle I can do an impression though, but I, I think it looks racist, so I'm just gonna Does it? just gonna move on. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> How how'd you find that? Uh, it was a good challenge. Yeah, the standard was great. What was, was the hard. hardest thing about it? The hands. How was it? Uh, arm fatiguing. Yeah. Uh, Any tips for those who are about to do it? Don't go on broken. Break up the muscle ups, uh, so you can quicken your transitions from muscle ups to. Handstand push-ups, because that might take the longest part for some people, so it'd be good to get at least your first rep in right away or two, and then go from there. I think the later rounds in the handstand push-ups. Okay, right. getting, getting harder to lock up. Uh, it was pretty, it was brutal on the shoulders. The handstand push-ups got real hard, but I was real, I was happy with that one. It went real, real well. Any tips for those competing in the next heat? Don't die on the handstand push-ups. <laughs> it was hard. Um, for me, I just got toast of bars last week, so doing that many is an accomplishment, but it's still mentally frustrating. <laughs> but it's okay. It's, you know, it's showing where the progress that I've made, and you know, like I only got toast of bar a week ago, so to say that I've done 16 of them or 15 of them is pretty awesome. So, no. <laughs> last time today, I promise. Okay. How was it? It was tough, yeah. What was tough about it? Push-ups, actually, yeah. A lot of body weight here, but yeah, it was fun. Good, yeah. So what do you recommend, or any suggestions for um, those after? Keeping really tight in the core and having really good form, straight up and out. My hands can't be too wide, so next time I'm gonna try that a little bit more. But once you get tired, it's a bit harder, so. Yeah. What are you planning on? How are you planning on preparing for the next workout? I'm um, gonna cool down. I think I'm gonna roll out a little bit. Yeah, do a lot of stretching in my upper body. Yeah. Thank you. So, what are you looking forward to the most at the end of the day? End of the day, a beer. What kind of beer? Lane, lane shark? Mm -hmm. Is that your favorite? It's, it's, like, it's like a cheaper Corona. It's really good though. Yeah. Beer and then like. Laughing, knowing it's over, you push yourself really hard. Yeah. How many years have you been doing this for? Um, we've been running two comps a year, a team one and this individual one for three years now. We are finishing our third year of running comps. So. Are you having nervous in the morning? 
What's that? Did, you have a nervous Did I have a nervous morning? poop? Uh, a couple, but they weren't nervous though. They were just because I, what I ate last night, maybe. <laughs> Any tips for athletes today? Uh, I'd be giving away all the secrets. I can't. That's the hardest part for me. I can't. I can't coach today. I have, <laughs> I have to like keep my like different hat on, like organizer hat. So. <laughs> so, event number two is kettlebell. This one will be in the back of the gym. It's going to be five rounds per time with an eight minute cap of 12 alternating dumbbell snatches. Um, the pistols didn't matter, this does. It has to be alternating. Um, a 25 foot, so red tape to red tape is 25 feet. Uh, one arm overhead walking lunge, and then eight burpee over the dumbbell. Um, you're gonna have a two minute rest after the cap, so on the 10 minute mark, the people who are here will go to the front of the gym where you see all the barbells, and we'll be doing five minutes to establish a one arm clean. strategy but every single um, every single time that there is an event I will give it everything that I can and hopefully everyone will be proud and I'll do well. So what's your favorite post-workout meal? So right now I'm having some ground elk and salad so it's um it's not my favorite post-workout meal my favorite post-workout meal I guess you know would be like tacos <laughs> I love tacos but this is definitely satisfying. So out of the three daughters, which one do you like? 
Which one would you work out with? Um, Katrin's a beast. Um, I really like her, but Annie is my favorite. You know <laughs> She's the original daughter. I love her. That was awesome. I hit a huge PR at 260, so it was real fun. Yeah, it was, was awesome. It was cool. Awesome. I feel well. I feel pretty tired, but I feel good too. It's good. Tiring. Uh, the clean. Yeah. Yeah. I did kind of what I expected. I was happy. This is a PR for me, so I was really happy. And then I was, I did a lot better on my time in the first part of it. So what? I'm, I know. I'll take it as a win. So it's really, it's really awesome, and that's why I love you. Uh, just the camaraderie of everyone. To see, I think we had Jessica today lift 215 pounds and crushed it in front of everyone. It was amazing. Uh, we had a Jessica from our gym and Sasha from our gym. Both got 10 pound PRs on a, power, on a clean, which was awesome. So everyone just cheering for them. The adrenaline's amazing. I don't know. That's what I like. So what are you looking forward to at the end of the day? At the end of the day? Oh, beers for sure with everybody. But uh, I don't know. I just, Looking forward to seeing what's to come. I know Kevin's got some great workouts planned for the afternoon. About to announce them and I don't know. Do you know what they are? I know what they are. Only because I came last night and Kevin gave us the scoop, but I've sworn to secrecy. So, how's it going? Awesome. Oh, well, yeah. What's it like to be a judge at these events? You know, there's a lot of pressure. You don't want to upset any of the athletes, but you also have to, you know, keep integrity for the sport. You gotta be the bad guy sometimes. So, if someone's considering being a judge for the next event, any tips that you would yes. give them? Yes, compete as an athlete first, so you can understand the critiques as well. And just watch a lot of CrossFit. YouTube's your friend. Yeah, you gotta know your standards. So, Frazier or Fleming? Oh, Frazier. Yeah? Frazier. Cool. And which, which one of the daughters do you like the best? Oh, or which one would Sarah. you work out with? Who would I work out with? I'd work out with uh, Catherine, because she's the reigning champ. But Sarah. I have... Oh, Sarah. Yeah. Oh, everybody's on mixed on this. <laughs> I'm married. <laughs> so, favorite post-workout meal? Um, well, I always start with... I always have a protein shake, and they usually like an apple, and then just like chicken, you know, the normal... The normal cross... Chicken, rice, and broccoli. Yeah. If you had to take two items to a deserted island, which items would you take? Uh, probably uh, <laughs> a knife. Oh, you're thinking survival. Yeah, you're on an airplane. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like an iPad, obviously, <laughs> yeah. solar powered iPad. Probably some dumbbells. Like, <laughs> yeah, a know, rower. A rower, concept two. And uh, an air bike, yeah. <laughs> Wow, uh, guys, we definitely survived quite a long time on that island. Be fit. Yeah. <laughs> and who's your favorite coach? Myself. Yeah, myself too. Okay, okay, okay. Good answers. Absolutely. Well, guys, have fun. Thank you so much. <laughs> Bye.